hey, this is Mrs. Carlton. I'm coming at, at you with Duke. Dean is not being nice. He's got a bone, and he thinks he's supposed to chew on the bone. So he's kept, he's taking Duke's place on the couch, eating Duke. While, while Bean's on the couch. Okay. Oh, and I'm so sorry. And Bean's decided that he's going to show that he's the boss after all. Do not be surprised if you hear them growling and doing that, and don't be surprised if you hear the bone dropping because, you know, that's what Bean likes to do. Right, Duke? Are you, are you trying to get me? Okay, well, I'll show the old Lair Land rules. You ready? We're on Unit 22, Day 1 Introduction, but Bean keeps the column right here, and he's right. We've got our old Lair Land rules. All right, no boys. No. Remember last week we had... Hey, hey boys. trying to pile out to get me to introduce this. And what did you do? You just wanted cookies. All right, remember last week in Unit 21, we had A and I together. They were the bow team. Mr. A would say his name A as Mr. I would look for robots. We also had where well, they were inside the word. This week we have A and Y together as a bow team. Mr. A is saying A, but Y is taking Mr. I's place. And the reason why he's taking Mr. I's place is because Mr. I gets dizzy at the end of words. So when you hear just an A sound with no ending constant, that's what's going to go wrong. Now, another vowel team that we did, and Bean wasn't nice, but I was doing this for him, is E-A, like in Bean, how we spell Bean. And Mr. E says his name as Mr. A looks for robots. And then we also had Mr. E and Mr. E's brother, Mr. E as Mr. E looked for robots, and his bro as Mr. E said his name, and Mr. E's brother looked for robots. Sorry. Now, today, like I said, we're on Unit 22. We're on day one. You have this list in your layer land packet. With the list, as I come up a little bit closer to Emily, with your child, it's really good to re do the review tricky words with them to see if they can remember them. We'll go over this week's tricky words then you have your review words from the other weeks to see if they can remember those vowel rules to sound out. Then we have list A that we're working up on the chart and the sentences that we're working up on the chart. Now, speaking of our new rules, we have two more vowel team members. With our two vowel team members, this week we're going to be working on OA and we're going to be working on OW. Now, OW, we're going to go over its story more in detail, but for right now, what I want to do is explain this story and do some spelling of some words with you. OA says O, where Mr. O is saying his name as Mr. A is looking for robots. So, if we have this word right here, and we have this beginning sound, and this evening sound, we have boat, boat. Now I can change this beginning sound and put this beginning sound and we have coach, coach. But let's change both beginning and ending sounds. Let's do the S. Let's do the P. I'm not going to do it like I did the last one. See if you can sound out. Right, so, oh, so. We have a different situation with our vowel team of OW. 
This is a story that I'm getting ready to read to you about Mr. O. Mr. O doesn't like the fact that Walter Wars, Wars likes to splash people. And he doesn't want the little O to get splashed. So he, he'll go, oh no you don't. So let me read that story for you. Mr. O is an old man. He has been around for such a long time, he knows almost all there is to know. So he knows that Walter Wars likes to tease Oscar Orange by splashing him. That's why whenever he can, he rushes up to protect Oscar and words cry out, Oh, no, you don't! In fact, old Mr. O cries, Oh, so loudly that Walter Wars is too surprised to make any sound at all. So think about it. He's going to go, oh, no, you don't. And that O's that loud. It's a lovely spring day in the meadow. The snow has melted and the rabbits are busy building new burrows. A breeze is blowing in the willows and hedgerows. It's a perfect day for playing bowls and mowing the lawn. Mr. O cries has scared Walter, but he hasn't scared the crows. Look, the farmer is scaring Look, the farmer is sowing seeds and a cheeky crow is following him. The farmer knows that some of the seeds will still grow. He has already grown some fine, fine seeds. Can you see them in the wheelbarrow? Arrow, bungalow, window, and yellow. So remember, Mr. O is that old man. He doesn't want Oscar Orange to get splashed on. So when he yells at Walter Wars to stop and scare him, he's yelling loud. He's yelling, oh, no, you don't. The one thing also, too, that you'll notice this week, the way it's sorted, is like we did last week with AI and AY. With AI and AY, remember we had AI would be inside the word and AY would be at the end of the word. That's the same thing going on with this week. This week we have, oh, I'm so not gonna start OW. This week we have OA inside the words like AI and OW at the end of the words like AY. So just kind of helping the kids to understand what that means. We're gonna go over our chart so that you'll, it'll make it easy for you guys to be able to uh, remember these words and we'll make a few of these over here once we finish. All right, let's sound it together. Boat. What's that word? Boat. Great job. Sound that with me. Soap. Soap. Great job. Road. Road. You do it. I don't want to do it. Coat. Coat. Wow, we got a beginning blend. Float. Float. Let's read all of them together. Boat, soap, road, coat, and float. Now remember, Mr. O doesn't want Oscar Orange to get splashed. So he's going to yell, oh, no, you don't, and scare Walter Waters where he's not going to say anything. And this is going to happen at the end of the words. So we're going to go, oh, low, lo, sh, oh, show. I like how you're sounding out with me. Keep going. G, r, o, grow. Don't forget about the K-N. Remember that K is staying silent. So it's n o no. Ooh. Now this is that double constant like we have with the tricky word again. This is where it's going to be split down the middle. So we know this is going to be a short e. So it's going to be y f o o o yellow. Great job. Now we do have three tricky words. This is one of my favorite tricky words. It's kind of like you. I like them because you have to spell them with three letters, but you only hear one letter. And in R, the only letter that you hear is just this R. Now, you've got to be careful with this one because this doesn't mean like 
This is our glass and our house. This is like, you are going to do this. You are saying this. It's kind of like, a, it's called a verb. So that's R. It's tricky because the only sound, only sound you hear is the R, but you spell it A-R-E. Now this one is done. The un. Do you hear that uh? That's not a, uh, and that's not o. Uh, because if we're using the true rule, this magic E would turn this into an O, long O sound, but it's not. It's the um. It's got the uh sound. So that's where the magic doesn't work when done. Now here's our next word. Could. 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 See how that O is not going ah, uh, uh. It's going like uh, uh, making that sound. So that's why could is tricky. Now when we are doing your sentences, remember we've been working on what a sentence ends with. This sentence ends with a question mark. So if it ends with a question mark, what is it going to do? You're right, it's going to ask us something. Let's see what it's going to ask. Could is our new tricky word. V is our old tricky word. Here's a word we're gonna sound out. T and OA is gonna say what? T -o -st toast. Here's one of our old rules again. When we see the vowel at the end by itself, it can shout its name. So it's B E B. And this is our new tricky word here, done. So let's read it. Could the toast be done? What did this what did it ask? Could the toast be done? And if I can answer it with yes or no, I know it's definitely asking us something. And I'm going to say the toast, that yes, the toast is done. Here's our next sentence. This one ends with a period. When it ends with a period, what it's going to be doing? That's right, it's going to tell us something. Let's see what it's going to tell us. We've got the we here. Remember when this e is all by itself at the end, it can shout out its name. So this is going to be what e, what in went, old tricky word, to, e, c, old tricky word, d, boat, boat. Let's read it. We went to see the boat. What's it telling? That we went to see a boat. And that we can be you and one or more people together. Be a group of two or more. All right. Let's go over this OW. Let's make a few of these words so you can see, like we did with the OA, how it's going to be at the end. I'm going to get my little cheat sheet so I've got my words for here. All right, we'll move the OW over here so we can make some words. Now remember, Mr. O is an old man. He doesn't like it that Oscar Orange is getting splashed on. So he's yelling, oh, no, you don't. And because he's doing that, that's why you only hear that O sound. So if I put this here, we've got O, low. And if I took and added it here, we've got, oh, that's not going to work, sorry. Let's think of the wrong word. Oh. This one. Alright, let's go for it. D R O Grow. So when you spell it, now that you got the G, the R, and when you hear that O at the end of grow. It's going to be that O W because Mr. O is shouting, Oh, no, you don't, to walk to wash, not to splash. All right, let's do one more. Let's do the letter parts first to see if we got this. All right, you ready? S N O. What's this word? Snow. Great job. Now, again with this week, when you're working on these words, when you're reading them, realize that we're listening for that O sound. With Mr. O saying his name, 
as Mr. A's looking for robots to make that O sound inside a word. And then the O sound again will happen when Mr. <coughs> o is yelling at, at Walter Walsh, not the splash, Oscar Arn saying, oh, no, you don't, for the O-W that you're going to see at the end of the words. Tomorrow we're going to be working on the word detective, so I'll show you how to do that. But we have now ended day one, unit 22, introducing OA and OW. Bye.